this is Anjan Dave. I am a corporate advisory engineer with Icelon Storage. What we have here is an H500 chassis. It has four nodes inside and it's got all the drives in the front. These are 3.5 inch SATA drives. They come in 2, 4, 8, 10 or 10, 12 terabyte capacities. As you can see, we can have three drives in a sled and a sled goes into the front here. There are five drives, five drive sleds here. Multiply that by four, you get 60 drives in this chassis. This is an H500 node. We call that a hybrid node. This is really good for a, a whole lot of different workloads, including uh, some of the uh, hybrid HPC workloads. As we come to the front here, we have four nodes in this chassis. Each of the node is a, is a compute node by itself. It has a power supply, shared power supply with a body node. You can see the power supply here. You can have up to two SSDs. These are caching SSDs. We can use a variety of caching algorithms for, for the read performance improvements. And then you have the I.O. ports here. You have the two InfiniBand or Ethernet uh, connectivity here. 40 gig Ethernet, 40 gig InfiniBand uh, for node to node connectivity. And it's a private backend network. You also have the front end ports. These are either 10 gig or 40 gig Ethernet depending on the node type. So you can see we have node 1, node 2, node 3 and node 4 and uh, that's the physical box. So this is a great solution for analytics workloads, uh, for uh, uh, active archives as well in HPC world. And uh, the other node types we have are uh, the H600, the F810, F800, both of them are all flash nodes. We also have archive nodes, the A2000s and the A100s, and we also have a new hybrid node called H5600, which combines uh, extreme scale, capacity scale, as well as performance. So, the Isilons today can scale up to 58 petabytes in a single namespace. You get uh, ease of management, ease of operations, performance at scale, and uh, support for multiple protocols such as SMB. HDFS and so on and it's a great solution for data lake so you can eliminate data silos and you can uh, create a data lake and uh, great solution for HPC.